Hello. Happy Monday. Today is Monday. It is around 1.30ish. Trying to get these done a little bit earlier than usual. So this is going to be a little bit longer of one because we do have the starch off. Yes. The acorn. The flatter. The uh, best pressed, faultless, and stay flow. It's going to be the starch off. Now, I've tried to figure out how I can do this scientific. Uh, look at You're going to go by my scientific. Uh, I, I'm not going to go crazy. I was thinking about getting all aboard and having this one has this and this one has. No. This is just going to be me, plain old, plain old, because that's what I am. Plain old, plain old. I'm just going to test these out and show you what I see. Okay, today is my video number 26. It is March 11th, 2024, and this I have 259 subscribers. Thank you very much. And let's get the snack done because my mouth is kind of watering for it. I made it. I haven't touched it. Oh, you know, it's chips. But it's you know, you're going to see a lot of this chips and guac. Oh, I have guac. So I have salsa, chips, guac, and sour cream. I was going to get all crazy and do oranges and all that kind of, but I don't have time. I'm a busy woman today, so. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. These are my favorite chips. Call it dad. These are my favorite. Oh, I got a sneeze. <sighs> uh, hopefully that goes away. Because it's going to be chips everywhere. But. It's time for lemonade. I love lemonade. And this is just country time. Uh, lemonade, I won't get crazy. I don't, uh, lemons are too expensive. You know, that thing, a country time lemonade is not cheap anymore. I remember when I used to get a bucket for like three, four dollars. Now it's like eight for half a bucket. Shrinkflation. It's still cheaper than soda, so. So I'm going for my lemonade because, you know, Next week, it might be sunny. Today, it's drizzly, which I am enjoying it tremendously. It does, you know, it could go from this to 70 to this the rest of my life, and I'd be perfectly happy. But I'm not going to get my way, am I? Well, mm, that's go good. I, got, I like to get a, um, okay. The trick to my lemonade, which I did not do today because I ran out of time, was I have a, oh, what is that thing called? Nutribullet. You put the ice in, you put some lemonade in, you get it all fluffy, and then you pour that in your cup and you top it with more lemonade. Mm, good. So you'll probably see that next week. I had to get some ice. And it's just, it's just not happening today. Today is just not happening. But, let's see, uh, I did do my next uh, block from, uh, which it's a cute one, isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? I haven't quilted it yet because I was waiting for da -da -da -da, a ditch, stitch in the ditch foot for my uh, brother. Oh, brother. So, we're going to try that out. This, uh, after I get off of here, because I just got it. Just open it, it's like, ooh, it looks like a fun one. I hope it fits, because, you know, honey, it's a honey so. It's from honey so. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're going to do that one next. All right, next is, uh, I have a problem. And it's kind of a big problem. Because, you know, it's, I'm doing a lot of work on this uh, cathedral window. I got I got two blocks done. There's thread all over it. 
I would not want to be having black in my house. So, okay, I did this where they're all filled in. All the windows are filled in. I don't like it. Let me tell you why I don't like it. I think it's too crazy. I think it's a bit crazy. And the back, I got to change if I do do it like this. You know, because I don't like seeing the quilting right here. I'd have to change that to white, and I didn't. Because it, and even that, I would have to, and it's like, do I really want to do that? Now, I have made a lot of these blocks. I'll make pillows, throw pillows, whatever out of them, you know, for their bed, you know. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I like just the black and white. I'm... And I have one that's all, you know, all crazy like this. And I don't like it. And I think she would appreciate just black and white or black and gray or just, you know, all these, you know, basically black and white. So I think I'm changing my mind. I can do that. I am an old woman, retired old woman with nothing else to do but changing their mind. But those would be cute little, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. It irritates me. But, you know, it doesn't bother me here because you can't see it. <laughs> so I think I'm changing my mind on that right there. Just letting it soak in. Because I, I like just the black and white. And I think she'll appreciate it more. And it won't be as hard either. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm going through with my cathedral window which is not a big deal. It's it, I can get plenty of black fabric, you know, just cotton back, black, cotton, black fabric for that, which I do. I still have like eight yards though. I'm good. All right. Now, with, oh, I wanted to show you my next block. I'm not, I'm not even reading these anymore. It's like, it's not important. I just want to do the blocks. So that one was Becky, which I will be putting the name still on there because I think that's a good idea. Next next one is Bella, and that's 158 Bella. Oh, that's kind of, oh, that's going to be easy. It's going to be pretty, too. I like the blues. I like, see, this is what it's supposed to, it's going to basically look like when it's completely done. Right there. It's got all the numbers on there. That's why I kind of want to stick close to what they have. That's what it's going to look like. Mm. Yep, that's it. That's it. Let's see Bella. Let's see if I can find Bella. I think she's 12. Let me real quickly, just real quickly look at my eyes. It's just I'm just like a, I'm like a I'm like a machine. I'm a robot. There it is. There it is, right there. Look at I found it. Right there. That's the one I just did. That's almost center. So that's where I'm going with that. I like the block. I like the pokies because I love the pokies. I got a whole where'd my pokies go? I move things around a bit. Never mind. My pokies are right there. I want my pokies. So, okay, let's get down to it. We're at almost nine minutes so far, and I have got some pressing to do. I'm doing it with a dry iron, no steam, because that's what I kind of read some of the directions of these, and they all kind of start with the dry iron. They start with, they spray it, let it soak in just like a minute, and then they, they iron it. Um, also, let's see what else. Uh, I'm doing it all with sprays, except for this. I did not go get another one. It's just going to have to do. Um, let's see, what else was it? So basically, dry iron, let it soak in, and then iron after it's soaked in. But, okay. Now, I was going to start with this size. But look it. It already kind of just stays... Here it's got a little, so I want to be able to see the hang or the stiffness of the fabric. So I had to go, I got, I got, I got ocean, I got ocean waves in my hair. Do you see that? I just, it's not a good hair day or anything. Okay, so 
I got one right here. I figured this size would be good. I don't know what the size is. It's basically eight, eight by five. It's basically eight by five. But if you go like this, you can really see it just kind of fold. I did have a thing where I could clip it on it, but it just, it just went right into the background. So I, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to go like this and we will see. Okay. So this has absolutely nothing. I'm leaving it this way. And this, it even shows a little bit on the fold on this, how we'll do it. Since I moved my room around, the lighting is not that great. So I'm working on lighting. It's better, but it's no cigar. People are walking by watching me talk to myself. Okay, so I'm leaving this one with nothing, right? I am going to move you down. So you could kind of see what I'm doing down here as I do the pressing, okay? Let me get things set up here, get rid of my little, this here. And uh, or, or, give me one more drink, my, my lips are my... mm -hmm. So good, we're going down now, ready? I hope this works well. All right, that's not bad. Not too bad. Okay. So as you can see, I have all my sprays. I have acorn and uh, I just put it in here. That's full strength acorn. Here is my faultless. That's one to one ratio. So it's one cup to, of water to one cup of fault. No, no, no. This is faultless. So erase that. Starting over. See, whoop, 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 acorn. Acorn is full strength. It does talk about uh, uh, pressing. It's not just for the pin, so you can use this for pressing also. That's why I put this one in. Faultless. This stuff. This faultless stuff, which is in a, in a spray can, right? I had to empty the spray can in here, <laughs> which was, you know, pretty interesting. But so I emptied the, the uh, pressurized air uh, can into here so I can get a more of a, and the reason why I'm doing that is so the measurement is more, more precise. I don't know why I'm going so pathetic with this, but I am. Okay, this, stay flow. All right, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. One cup stay flow, one cup of water. This one I'm interested in. This is the the blue jug, right? And then we have, you know, a uh, Mary Ellen's Best Press. And then we have Flatter. I found some of this, so I'm going to use some of Flatter. I don't have a lot. I did not want to buy another bottle, so I'm just putting it in here. We're going with it. This is not, you know, like I said, I'm not a teacher. I'm just showing you the crazy stuff that I go through. So, also, to keep everything's right, I have put what type of, uh, oh, what's it called again? Starch that I'm putting on here. So, this. Eileen's Best Press. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, I'm going to set these over here. I'm going to give like three sprays. One here, one here, one here. So basically, one, one, one. That's what I'm doing. We're letting it set in a little bit. I'll pat it. Kind of get it to set into the fabric. Don't know if this is right or anything, but this is what I'm doing. Oh, I need another pad. You see my ugly pad, how it's getting so used. Okay, it's uh, it's in. It's not. It doesn't feel wet to the touch. It's in there. So I'm getting my my uh, iron and just dry iron and just moving it back and forth. There's no pressure being put on it. It's just lightly over to get it dry is what I'm going for. Just getting it dry. I'm not counting, you know, one, two, three. Well, uh, no, I'm just getting to what's it's dry. Let me see. That feels pretty dry. I want to go do the back. Just to get it where it's dry. So, basically, that's it. All right. 
it feels dry and it does have a little bit more of a stand. Where's that one? This one right here is nothing. Okay. Flimsy, floppy, LA, best press. It's got a little more. Okay. All right. Next. Let me set this up here. Next one is Acorn Easy Press Fabric Treatment is what they're calling it. So Acorn. I'm going to do the three. I'm going to start it because I haven't sprayed this one. Make sure there's stuff in there. One, two, three. That's it. I'm sure you're seeing on your side if I'm doing it closer, whatever. Like I said, this is just for fun, people. That's it. Just for fun. It's just getting sticky, 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 sticky. Let it, let it, okay, there. It feels pretty dry to the touch, basically. I'm just going to go back and forth. There we go. No pressure. Just letting it glide. Basically till I don't see any more steam coming up. Okay, I don't see any more steam. Just flip it over. Do the back. I don't know if you, I mean, I don't know uh, if this is even interesting to other people, but it's pretty interesting to me to see what, because I got that, uh, that uh, stay flow. That's where I was like interested. Okay, it feels dry. It's got a little, it's got a little, but this is more famous for the pin, which you go over seams. This is Stay Flow. I mean, Elaine's Best Press Acorn. Huh. Huh. Let's see. Maybe because it's cooled down and then there's the, the one with nothing. Okay. All right. Next. Faultless. That was a real pain in the butt to uh, empty that can into here. I'm going to spray down here in my trash just to make sure it's, it's coming out. One, two, three. Okay. Got that done. So I've done this one. I'm going to put these out of my way so I don't accidentally. So you stay for no. Uh -uh. It doesn't look like it's wet right there, but it is. Kind of let it settle in. I don't know if this is doing something wrong, whatever. This is this is what I do, okay? This is just what I do, okay? It's all in, okay, faultless. Now this is this is the the one that I love the smell of so much. <laughs> Ellen's Ellen's uh, I mean Mary Ellen's Best Press. That smells good too. I I think faultless is my favorite smelling one. Back and forth just to get it dry. Yeah, it's so moist here where I live. I'm, you know, I, I don't know. Okay, let's flip it over. Let's do the other side. Let's see, there we go. Let's do one more. That feels completely dry now. Now this is faultless. <laughs> I love my faultless. Look at that. Just standing up. Just stand up. I'm faultless. I'm the premium looks finish. Okay, we got that one. Then we did the acorn last. That's pretty good. I mean, it does. It's pretty good. Then the first one we did was the best press. Ah. Ta -da, come on, Ellen. Come on, Mary Ellen. Are you stand up, girl. Nope. And then the one with nothing. It was just, I'm just limpy, limpy. Okay. All right. So next we have flatter. We're doing flatter next. 
Now, I didn't want to, I could have just, you know, changed, uh, not gonna, okay? Let me just make this sure it's coming out. One, I'll give a couple more, okay? Just because this is super fine and these are more trying to be legit. But, I, ooh, that smells pretty, you know, this stuff was so expensive. This was $12 and this was, I bought this probably about... I don't know, five or six years ago. Well, it couldn't have been six years ago because I started quilting again in 2000. So it's been almost four years. It's been about four years. Three years? Three and a half? Something. Anyway. All right. I'd say it's dry. It smells all right. I mean, it's got a cute smell, but it's not a staying smell. And this one right here is supposed to be like uh environmentally uh better because it's it talks about you know uh it using plant-based but isn't starch plant-based i don't know i don't know vodka it's plant-based it's potatoes or something right let me flip it over it's so expensive though I should have looked up the prices like on um, a quilting app to see how much it would be. Because you have to get that from a quilting store. Okay, here we go. I'm flatter. I'm flatter. I wish I should have got a, uh, what do you call those, micron? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. So it's it's flatter, but it sure ain't stiffer. <laughs> okay, so we have the flatter. We had the flatter, which is flatter. It's not stiffer. We have the faultless. I wonder if it's it cools, it gets it gets uh more flimsy. Faultless. And acorn, a clone, which is just, just nothing. And we got Ellen's Best Press. And then nothing. I don't know if this is proving anything. Okay, now stay flow. This is the one I'm interested in. Let me mix it up because it was a mix. Let me spray my trash can so it's going. There you go, three. I like the smell of faultless. I don't like the price. I the smell of flatter is okay, but the price I'll I'll never buy this. Never buy this again. It's no, nope. Uh, uh. The acorn I use for you know basically. Uh, I use this for the, the pen because uh, when you're paper piecing, uh, you put the pen, you use this on your, your uh, seams and it really does make it, it's, it's much flatter and I think stiffer. Of course it's stiffer because it's, you know, starch, but I don't know. I think it works better. Uh, best press, you know, I didn't know that um oh i'm taking too long huh uh oh maybe i have to do this one over because i took too long i don't have any more fabric do i have fabric I'm trying to do it all the same i might have to do this one over i'm not gonna grab another fabric okay let's flip it over We're going. This one kind of slides better. It's probably got, uh, probably because it's thicker starch. And then we got stay flow. Now I'm gonna let these sit for a minute because all these seem like they after they cooled down, they kind of got limpier. So we have flatter which is flatter, but it's not stiffer. And then we got faultless. Here's do this to flatter. This way, right here. 
and then this way. Not bad. And then we got faultless. I don't know if that made any sense to you. And then we got acorn. And then we got Ellen, Mary Ellen's Best Press. And then we got nothing. And then we have Stay Flow. Ah, it's still straight. You know, and to just feel, let me see. Now this feels, this feels way thicker or stiffer, kind of, right? The Stay Flow. Right here. Ellen, Mary Ellen's, it's not even going to do it. It's not going to. So, no. Acorn. Oh, look it. It does have. It does do better than the Mary Ellen's. Huh. See, Mary Ellen's. And I tried to put the same amounts. Egg corn. Am I doing it different? No. Look up. That's flimsier than the acorn. Up. That's a little thicker or a stiffer. And then stay floor. Stay flow. Now that's much thicker. Okay, now we have uh, faultless. Let's see. Up. Eh. Eh. It's trying, it's trying. So let's see, acorn. That's eh, close. If it was an acorn or, or, or close. Flatter, it's just, it's not gonna do, no, uh, uh, no, uh, uh. It don't wanna do nothing. It's just, uh -uh. it's kinda like the Mary Ellen's. Well, Mary Ellen's does better. So faultless is the worst. Of course, I kinda knew that. And then I would say, and then, oh wait, which this one? Oh, this one is just nothing, right? So, nothing. It's the nothing, and then the flatter, and then, let's see. Huh, I would say Mary Ellen's is there, acorn. Acorn's way doing a lot better than I thought it was. See, so like, look at Mary Ellen's. It's just, it wants to lay down. The acorn, it do, it doesn't have to lay down. I mean, it want, it doesn't, you know. No, I think that's better. Faultless, because I want it to be better. Do I know? It's better. It's better there and then the stay flow oh yeah way better stay flow is way better so this is what we got stay flow is number one and then we have faultless as number two and the acorn best press I mean, the acorn, blah, 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 easy press, is really close to the faultless. Mary Ellen's best press is, this is kind of depressing, but that it's, you know, it smells good, but it's not very great of a, of a uh, starch. And then flatter, you know, <laughs> and then nothing. So there we have it. We have stay flow for the winner, faultless for second, a really close to second of acorn. The blah, 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 third is really because these are really close. I'll say first 
a close second, third, and then last place is flatter. It might be flatter, but it is not any kind of stiffer. So there we go. That's what I did. I'm coming up, going up. That's what I got for you today. What you think about that? You're crooked. You're crooked. You're crooked. You're crooked. Well, that was uh, interesting. Yes. Hope you enjoyed that. So uh, save your money, people. Get the stay flow. That's what I say. That's me from now on. Stay flow. I'm going to stay and I'm going to float. Well, I don't float. I'm not going to talk about that no more. But I'm going to stay with this good old stay flow. Three something for, uh, I can, it's three something for a 64 ounce bottle. And I do it one-on-one, -on -one, so I'll get, I don't know, 120 ounces, 128. We're not going to go there. So I'll get double my price, double the amount uh, for three-something. Uh, this one, the uh, it was not easy to spray all that in here. I have one more full can. So I'll use this for like, uh, cause it, this is my favorite smelling one. So I'll save this for clothing if I have, which I will never, I will never iron clothing again. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I'll go to a wedding or something. I don't know. So I'm saving this for when I want things to smell real good. Same is the Mary Ellen. I have like a half a gallon of this. But, you know, if it comes down to it, not she's scratching because she's trying to make the, the floor more comfortable. That's what she's doing. Can you hear that? Anyway. And uh, I'll use this to put in my acorn pin. <laughs> I'm really surprised with the acorn how well it did, though. I really am. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting... What I thought would happen, well, I stay. I was hoping and praying on this one, so I wanted this to be number one, and it is. Uh, and then I thought the faultless would be next, but it's not. It was the acorn, which is interesting. I, you know, that's a good thing. I have a lot of it. Um, so there we go. The flatter, like I said, I'll never buy this. It'll, uh, you know, how, when was this? Okay, it expires this year, so it's still good. So there's no reason that didn't work out. So I am going to get off of here, and I'm going to play with my uh, stitch in the ditch uh, foot and try to get that done, eat my chips and salsa as I play in my bedroom. Uh, that's why I tell the kids, I'm going to go play in my room. <laughs> Like they did when I would, they were younger. Of course, they never played in their room. They always played in the living room. They made messes. I love you guys. Tammy, Mia, I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed all the, all the things. I'll probably never do anything like that again. Or maybe I will. Maybe I will. You can't tell me. I can't. So, hasta Enjoy your day. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.